All right, this was a homework question, and I'm going to go ahead and answer it. Um, the first part of this question was actually to find the domain and range. And so when you look for the domain, you're going to want to go from the leftmost point, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line right here. Because you can see there's no part of the graph that goes to the left of that. And so you go from the leftmost point to the rightmost point on the graph, which would be here. And when we're talking about domain, we're talking about the x values of the points on our graph. So at this leftmost point, the x value here is, looks like that's negative 9. 2 is that point, negative 9, 2. And so the domain is going to start at negative 9. And notice that point's on the graph. And so we include negative 9. And then as you go to the right, you can see that if you look at the points on this graph, we're hitting every x value bigger than negative 9. Here we're at x. Now notice when we get to x equals negative 4, there is a point um, for that x value. It's just it's picking up on the next piece. You know, here's where x is negative 2, negative 1, 0. We get to 2, and then notice after 2, now we're on this piece here. And so for all the x values between negative 9 until we get to x equals, this would be 4 here, we have points on the graph. And so our domain goes from negative 9 to 4. Now for the range, we're going to go from the lowest point to the highest point. Now I could do the same kind of thing I did before. Notice we do have a, low to, a lowest point here. In fact, it's not negative 2, but it's right before we get to negative 2. And then we do have a highest point right here. Now with, don't, or with range, we're now looking at y values. So at our lowest point, we have a y value of negative, well, this would be 2, negative 2. The y value there is negative 2. So this was domain, and this is the range. And so again, you have all these y values here. Notice at this point, y is 0. So we went greater than negative 2. Now we're here at 2. But then we pick up here at 2. And these y values were at 3, 4, 5, and everything in between. We get to this highest point, and that's at 6. But we're not going to get there. We're just going to get right before there, or approach there. And so we're going to have, and actually I messed it up on the other side, we should have a parenthesis on both ends because at each endpoint, at our lowest point and our highest point, the actual value there is not included because of the open circle. So we literally start right above negative 2 or bigger than negative 2. All right, so that's our domain and range. Now. Notice for this graph, there's three pieces, this one here, this one here, and this one here. And that's why there's three equations. Now, these are actually the correct answers. But let me show you how you would have gotten these. So first of all, you can see that when x goes from negative 9 until x gets to negative 4, no, negative 3, we have this piece of the graph. And so that's what we put in here. Now how did they get the x plus 11? Well I think the easiest way to do that would see this is just the graph of a piece of a line and so we need to find the actual equation for the line. You can see that the slope here is actually 1. You go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1 and you can keep doing that and you end up at the y-intercept, which is 0, 11. And so we can use the slope, which I just said is 1, or 1 over 1. 
and the y-intercept to write the equation. Remember, it's y equals mx plus b. That's the slope-intercept form. And so our slope here is 1, so it's just 1x or x, plus our intercept. Remember, the b is the y value of the intercept, so that would be plus 11. And so that's where they're getting that graph. Now, at that, the next piece starts at negative 3 and goes into, now notice, I should point, point this out, notice that when x was negative 3, we were not on this piece of the graph. That's why um, here it says less than negative 3. It doesn't include um, the value of negative 3. Whereas if you notice here you have the equal symbol, that's because at this point you're, you have a solid point. So at negative 9, you do have y equals x plus 11. That point is on the graph. And so now for this piece here, you can see that we have y equals 7, or f of x equals 7. That's that piece. And that happens from negative 3 until you get to 2. And we have solid points on both sides. That's why we have the less than or equal symbol here. And then finally here, I would uh, notice that the slope of this line, you, if you start here, you're going down to left one, down to left one, down to left one, down to left one. And so our slope, let's see, it's negative two over negative one, that's just going to be two. And then um, again, we have y equals mx plus b. And our y-intercept is going to be at negative 6, 0, negative 6. And so when we plug in those numbers, we get 2x minus 6. And so that's where this part came from here. And again, notice at 2, we have an open circle, so that point's not on the graph. That's why there's no equal symbol there. Basically, this is saying when x is greater than 2, Notice here's a 2, so when x is greater than 2, now we're going to have this piece of the graph, or this will be the next piece. And notice there's a solid dot here, that's why we have the less than or equal symbol here. So basically I read this as x is between 2 and 4, not including 2, notice open circle, but here we have the solid dot, and so that point is on the line. And so um, we do have to include the equal there. All right, so I hope that helps. If you need any more clarification, just let me know.